right, new version here, a new shot even, with sound. A lot of you people have things to say about my weight. You guys are always chastising how I look, and uh, you say that my friend has a double chin. She does not have a double chin. A lot of you people have things to say about my weight. You guys are always chastising how I look, and uh, you say that my friend has a double chin. She does not have a double chin. A lot of you So great. I love it. That's a funny rig, too. All right, hold on. Let me turn off the sounds just to kind of look at what is going on. So my the main thing I would say is I like it. I like all the, like how he has this resting on his body, the little tiny gestures there. I like the little pose into a sub pose there. Like the counting is funny. That's great. And getting into back. The looks are funny. Yeah, my main thing would be the question is, and this is, again, there's nothing wrong with this. I am thinking out loud in terms of what is he, is he sitting on something or is he leaning against something? The thought that I had is that if you look at my poorly drawn outline here, and then when you screw up through it, he stays pretty much in this. And I'm wondering, depending on how he, if he's leaning against something, you know, then you could have a slight weight shift to then lean. Imagine he's leaning on this side of the body, then lean on this. Or if he's on a chair, just thinking out loud, he's on a chair, that he could at the end maybe swivel around so that there's some contrast in there. Again, I love all of this. I'm thinking out loud in terms of, could we add something to give it a bit more contrast so he's not stuck in that position? And not just for the, for the sake of movement, but yeah, let me listen to the sound again here. So a lot of you people have things to say about my weight. So this is like he's addressing the critics. And I'm wondering, could this be again, this is not something you have to do. Just think it aloud so that you can think about that stuff where do you want him to be kind of more aggressive or just stating a fact? Because he could start like this. A lot of you people have things to say about my weight. And I like that he is looking more towards the people as you're breaking the fourth wall. He's talking to the camera, whatever it is, right? This could be an interview, whatever it is. Could this be something where he could even turn his whole body to camera? So he's facing them. So it's quote unquote, but maybe more aggressive, more direct or more confrontational. Like I'm going to turn towards you because I'm addressing you and this is important to me type of thing. You guys are always chastising how I look and uh, you say that my friend has that could be something where he trails off into like, well, I'm going to list things and blah, blah, blah. And maybe that could have like a slight, again, imagine he's on a swivel chair, turning back to this position. So he kind of turns towards us and then turns back into this. Has a double chin. She does not have a double chin. Or you keep it the way it is like that till here. She does not. And then maybe on this, you turn the body towards the camera. Yeah, I'm just thinking in terms of, can we do something where it is character appropriate? And it's tied in with how he feels while giving contrast to the scene in terms of just the body position, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Because again, he's mostly in this. Could we add something? I'm not saying that let's pretend again he's on a chair, that he would swivel all the way to being... Uh, what's the hockey? Do I have a hockey for this? Could it be this one? So that he ends up like this, right? He could start this and then slowly over the course of the shot, be facing us and at the end of the shot he's like this but again i don't know i don't know what the setting is this could be something where he's on the chair and then he has posters and frames maybe this is an interview where he's at home you know or he is leaning against <laughs> a massive skyscraper and you know showing off how tall he is and you got windows for scale and there's like a human back there hanging out dead or something like this is like a casual interview after he destroyed a couple buildings and then he would lean from one building to the other. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, thinking out loud, that could be something. That's the main thing that I took away from this, if that makes sense. Other than that, let's see here. Looking at your email, um, you want to push the lip sync a little bit, um, but not super chattery or too bouncy and make it a bit more exaggerated. So now, again, ignoring everything else, if I just go by this. A lot of you people have things. My thing is, and this is maybe... Like sometimes I'm more like, let's simplify this or sometimes I'm going towards, let's make this a bit more real. Real as in not photo real, this has to be like based on reference and copying it. But to me, it's like there is a lot of movement 
in this. It's such a big move that has nothing like the pixels here are completely frozen. My thing would be, I know this is not fully tied to your um, exaggeration question about mouse shapes, but for me, it would be something. A lot of you people have things just. Could this be something where he starts the head maybe a tiny bit lower? A lot of you people. And over this, he raises his head just to give us some life. Sometimes, again, depending on how realistic you want to be, it could be. A lot of you people have things. A lot of people have things. Da -da 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 -da. Like that's kind of the rhythm. You could have tiny bounces in the head and then a bigger bounce at the end. A lot there. of you people have things to say about my weight. Say about my weight. Weight. Like weight could have a weight, a bit of a move over, a bit of an arc in a loop. Just again, thinking out loud, like, is that something that you could potentially. Uh, I don't know if you want to incorporate that. You're saying you did mostly the face in rough spline. Uh, this is just blocking button and spline graph. So again, maybe that's something you want to incorporate later on. I just wanted to mention it because again, you, you're paying for this. I want to just not hold back. A lot of you people have things to say about my weight. The other thing is where I will go the other way. A lot of you people have things to say about. You might be able to simplify this where we don't have this constant opening and closing. Because again, you're dealing with a really big mouth where I think you could do potentially more with the corners with our things to say like i like you have it already there so stuff like that to me is a bit more successful than having constant opening things and closing. so i'm gonna turn off the sound just quickly if you just look at this color the white and the tongue it's very chattery so i think if i go back to the sound a lot of you people have things to a lot of you people. It can almost be a lot of people, like like a simplified shape where you have some jaw movement, but it's it's more like why it's too close. Say about my weight. Things to say about my weight. Things to say. Say will go out and wait. Let's see here. About my weight. And then the weights could have maybe a stronger weight. Weight. A stronger hold on the W maybe here. Say about my weight. Because it's you don't quite read it. So to me, it's like that type of stuff where it gets to me a bit more exaggerated, where we simplify it. It's like the exaggeration is in the simplification. If that makes sense, that should be a t-shirt. Versus hitting every sound and having all those openings and going broader with corners and then extremes. The thing that's tricky, can you with this rig? I don't know. Like this is such a hard shape on that lip so when you do this it just feels so paper thin is there a way for you to rotate this out so when you're here we see a bit more like a plane i don't know if that works it just seems so thin there wait you guys are all i do love you guys i love on that inhale you guys <laughs> that you go up there you guys are in the change in all this always chastising how i look and the other thing, sizing how I look, and uh, you say that my friend has a double chin. She does not have a double chin. Yeah, again, I'm just watching, sorry, I'm silent there. But so my thing is, I see a lot of chatter. I guess a lot of opening, closing, where I would simplify this to get into more exaggeration. And then the other thing that you can do, because we are kind of stuck in that kind of symmetrical shape where we don't have. And that is, that's the question. Because I'm not familiar with that rig. Um, can you push asymmetry with that that line so we don't have you know the same length here of the teeth? Like that's something where you can add exaggeration where he can talk more out of his corner, or potentially even like on something like this. Could this ooh shape be over here to get into like a line of action that's a bit more curved and bring that over there and have maybe a bit more rotation and translate into jaw? So it's it's in there in here a little bit. So think in terms of giving the left right a bit more arky stuff and giving this less symmetry where we're a bit more out of the corners. But I don't know if that is um, possible with that rig. Because that's the only thing that I'm seeing here. Even if you do something where we do this, this feels more like a lip zip. <laughs> uh, channel plugged in versus maybe having something where we can have maybe a slight arc into this but not just so we feel like this is an arc in here but when he does this you even have the head go down it's as if that shape pulls the head down and on this puts the head back up 
That's what I mean where you want to have a little bit more up and down in the head as accents, at least to me. She does not have a double chin. Like this feels really nice here. Does not have a double chin. That, that, like, that's to me like the right amount of simplification while still hitting the accents and giving us contrast. A lot of you people have things to say. But then that beginning, a lot of you people especially feels so still in here. So if you could have the essence of this, right, where it has more accents without being that big and giving us potentially more something where it's instead of this, could it be slightly more out of the corners? So for me, it's like uh, an exaggeration in terms of the shape language, if that makes sense, without going too much into squashy shapes. Like, I don't think in the lines... A lot of you people have things to say about my weight. You guys are always chatting. Until here, like, I don't see anything where it's appropriate to go like, mm, and close it and squash the face. Sizing how I look and... Uh, how I look, maybe on look. And then when he goes... How I look and... And where you have ands could really be like a pushed corner, asymmetrical shape there. But to me, when I, when I read squashy acting mouth shapes, it's more like, but does the line support that do you have an m a p or a, a puffing in the cheeks uh, you say that my friend has a double chin she does not have a double chin yeah i don't think i don't think the line would go for that so to me the exaggeration is more um yeah the asymmetry corner corner uh favorism that's a word and getting your arcs in there but also adding like having almost the weight of the shape changes affect the head by adding accents up and down. She that does sense. not have a double chin. A lot of <sighs> I do love that at the end where he goes hmm and has a bit of a huh. So right. A lot of you people have things to say about my weight. The other thing that you can add is that given that he's so big, you would also see and feel more of the breathing and even shoulders. So a lot of you people have things to say about my weight. Da -da 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 my weight. Imagine the shoulders go down, the body exhales as he says all this and then weight and then weight is almost a bit more again, accusatory where he might even rotate his chest back. So you have this might start a bit higher and then right there, we end up a bit lower, a bit lean forward. Wait. And then wait up a little bit, just a bit, because I it, there I see that I wait. It's also a bit more confidence to not move at all and just stare and just say wait like that. But I think we could we could add even if it's like 10, 15 percent where it's more feeling than seeing. I think that's going to help you as well. Just overall with the shots, give this a bit more life. You guys are always chastising how I look. And I love this. Chastising how I look. That'll lean again, something you can think in terms of he might start here and that's your line. You're always chastising how I look. And then at the end, he's actually this far. So throughout the whole thing, you went, you are already leaning the head and then you have one extra lean that's a bit broader. That's this, if that makes sense. Like he's, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of leaning with an extra lean. Look, and uh, you say that. And then, and uh, then he goes back into being a bit straighter. So that's to me the. The thing I was mentioning at the beginning, like having a bit more potential side to side. Could he turn again? Is he on the chair? Where is he? Is this in an office? Is this an interview? And so on and so on. Like I think how you're going to um, decide on the setting might also help you in terms of acting choices and potential like body movement. Alrighty. That's kind of that. Um, yeah. Any questions? Let me know. I hope that answered your questions. You mentioned you want to push the lip sync a little bit, but not end up super chatty or bouncy. So to me, it is chatty and bouncy right now. So the biggest thing would be simplify and add exaggeration through, again, simpler shapes, corners, arcs, but maybe potential, potential arcs more in the jaw and giving your, your head a bit more of a line of action so it's not so symmetrical, and especially when you have like head on. Where is he? Oh, here, like head on where it's, it seems really symmetrical. So we can push that. This is probably the least symmetrical over the face or the, uh, the eyebrows. Anyway, hope that makes sense. Let me know. And that's that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.